Well, hello everyone. This, uh, this is just an update video to show everyone how well the solar water pump is doing. It's doing great. Um, I've had a few people ask me about the flow. This is what I get flow-wise. That's a half inch uh, pipe thread fitting there with a half inch um, water hose. It may be five eighths, but I think it's half inch. But anyways, uh, that's the, the flow I get from my pump. It's not a massive amount of flow. You gotta remember that the, the pump has a half inch um, hose bib, I guess you could say, at the end, where the water comes out of. So that's that's gonna pretty much limit the flow to what can go through half inch. But it's a diaphragm pump, which allows it to lift. The main reason I bought this pump is because I had to lift water from the pond up the hill 30 or 40 feet plus run it you know 1500 feet 2000 feet through half inch line i needed pressure so pressure to me was more important than flow if you want more flow with the same amount of voltage and ampage you might want to look at a centrifuge pump where basically it spins the motor just spins quickly and has like a propeller inside of it that pushes the water through like you'd have in a bell's pump on a boat or something of that nature those can move a lot more water very large amount of flow very little pressure uh, so if you don't have to go very far or you don't have to go very high and you just need to, to get some water out of one place to another in large amounts um, you can do that with something like a belge pump and those work pretty good they've got belge pumps that actually last for a while on 12 volt power so uh, you can always look into something like that and they're pretty cheap to replace I'm taking this thing apart right now because I'm moving some things and I just wanted to show the flow and wanted to give everybody an update that it's still running great. My solar panels are still doing wonderful. I clean them off every now and then. I never went and bought one big solar panel. These are still my two 100 watt 12 volt panels that I have running in serial. Um, so basically I'm pushing 24 volts, which is in solar panel, that could be all the way up to you know 36 volts. Um, based upon how well that it, the energy is being gathered from the sun. But anyways, they call it 24 volts. But anyways, that's an update on the, uh, on the pump. I've, again, I've got the pump in the water down there just because I'm uh, you know, testing it out. But uh, it's good. So again, this is the pump that I pulled out of the lake and I've cleaned it off. Um, Sorry, I actually meant to get a good shot of what it looked like dirty um, before I cleaned it, but I totally forgot to take a video of that. But but this is it. This pump is a few years old. Uh, it's actually the second pump that I bought. The original pump that I have is actually in the lake right now. Uh, that's what I just put in when I pulled this one out. And what I do is I swap them back and forth. So I'll let it run a month or so in the water. What happens is these um, algae growth and you know just basic growth underneath the water will grow on these uh, this mesh here. And I don't know if you can see, the mesh is, is pretty decent, uh, mainly fine particles it will suck up. But the big stuff, you know, it, it keeps from going inside the pump and keeps from damaging the pump. Um, but what happens is, is I'll get some growth on this. So I'll get, usually I can spray it off with a water hose and it just comes off. If it doesn't come off, I'll use a little scrub brush like this or something to kind of scrub it down when I'm doing it. But it, it comes off pretty easy. Um, but again, it, I've never had a problem with them not cleaning up well. Uh, I have it set up real easy where this right here actually just unscrews. And I clean that out, you know, pretty good. But when you screw that lid on, it makes this pretty much watertight. Um, so you don't really have to worry about this too much. And sometimes I'll put some electrical grease in there uh, just to kind of keep it more watertight. All I really ever do is I check the screws to make sure that they're still holding snug because a lot of this has just rubber gaskets everywhere. And what you don't want is water to be able to actually get into the pump. Um, you know, it's, it's an underwater pump, but you don't want water getting inside the pump. Uh, this, you know, stays pretty clean. And then again, I just have a hose with a clamp on it. So when I switch these off, I just undo the hose clamp. I undo the electrical port here and I take this one off. I take the other one that's already been cleaned. I put them back on, tighten down the clamp, tighten down the electrical and I'm done. You know, and I toss that back into the lake and um, then I just bring this one back up to clean. So uh, they've been really good. I've actually bought a third one of these now. So now I have a brand new one. 
I got a really good deal on it. I couldn't pass it up. Um, of course, everything's made in China. These all come from China. Like I said, this one's a couple years old and uh, still running strong. Well, that's it, everyone. If you like the videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really helps us out. I'll try to do more videos of these uh, homestead type of uh, gadgets and setups that I have around the farm. And, um, you know, hopefully this video was useful for someone. Thank you all very much for watching.